DC vs. Marvel podcast. Yay! Yay! All right. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm here with Mariana McKinney, and uh, this all started because uh, a group of lovely teenagers were having the most fascinating debate right in front of the circulation desk about DC versus Marvel. And I was like, this has to be a podcast. Um, unfortunately, they're so busy, they can't all be together to do this together. So we're gonna like piecemeal it, chunk it together. So Mariana is gonna get the first say. Later, we're gonna have some other folks coming in. They're gonna respond to what she says. Drew's gonna try to sneak out of here without getting, let's see if his door gets recorded. He's opening and closing the door, trying to be real sneaky. Let's see if that gets picked up. All mm. right. So anyway, um, yeah. So DC versus Marvel. Do we have opinions? Um, personally, I prefer, D- I prefer DC. I like DC. I can say this because I have watched, Lord, I have watched the entire Marvel timeline, Marvel movies over and over again. And I like her. Uh, ma'am. <laughs> I think you have some fans. Um, I have watched the, D- the, the Marvel side like, so personally, it's just, it's, it, it's also just personal preference. I just like the superheroes that are in DC more. I feel like they have more rounded characters. Are, like, are you talking about like specific people though? Like when you say DC, DC is so amorphous. DC I know, is so I know, many DC different things. So many different things, but I feel like the main, at least, cause like I also did like a, a timeline of DC animated movies. So okay. like. Basically from like that timeline. So like the typical Batman, Robin, Nightwing, the Teen Titans, the Oh right. You like Teen Titans. I remember this. Yeah, I like Teen Titans a lot. <laughs> uh the Teen Titans. Um the whole story arc of like the five Robin five Robins? Three Robins? Robins. A number of Robins. A number of Robins. There's too many. And a, n- a number of Batmans. There's too many. So yeah, I think it is just like a matter of preference at the end of the day. So, it's like the timeline. So, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, MCU, I feel like has dominated the whole it has, market. Yeah, so, like, have, how does DC uh, hold up and all that? And, like, what, are you saying Marvel, there's no merit to Marvel? Because I mean, they're no. doing well. I mean, like, okay, they could do well all they want, but it's like they could pop. Like, I want to compare it to like iPhone and Android. iPhone has a phone that comes out every year. It is generically the same, not to upset some of the iPhone users. It is generically the same, look the same, and act the same, maybe a slight difference. But that's how the Marvel movies are to me, I feel like. Mm. Even though I love Marvel, they come out with a movie, maybe one movie every year, and it isn't the best. It's mediocre. It's the same. So what do you say? How is it the same? same? What's the Marvel concept? I mean, like any superhero movie is like, oh, good guy fights bad guy. That's like the concept. But obviously, you have to have different arcs of the story. So when like different characters come together, their quirks and um, their emotions and how their powers make the battle different and how like the super villain that they're fighting, that makes the battle different. So, but for watching Marvel, especially like the newest Marvel movie, like I personally... This is just me, though. <laughs> I know everybody hates the Marvels, but I love the Marvels. You know, girl power. Period. <laughs> a I lot of people it. did hate the Marvels. I I'm, know. I'm, I'm kind of surprised on record you're saying that you liked it. Talk I liked me. it. I loved it. <laughs> I prob- I'm probably very biased. <laughs> but, well, what uh, did you love about it? Um, I know Marvel doesn't know how to write, like, the comedic sides of, like, their movies. So, like, it was very funny. It was very, it was very playful. It was very... And, like, seeing the three characters come together, uh, Miss Marvel... I forgot the other girl. And then Captain Marvel <laughs> come together. It was Miss <laughs> Marvel, Captain Marvel, and other girl. Got other it. girl. <laughs> yes. With I didn't the, watch it, so I don't the know. powers that came from WandaVision. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Her. So I was like, seeing them come together, it yeah. was like, it was like a nice, it felt like a crossover episode. Okay. Okay. But so let's continue with this analogy. You said iPhone versus Android. So DC is the Android. What's making DC more unique then? What's not mm-hmm. the same? I feel like 
since they're like Android, they don't come out with phones every year. Mm-hmm. So they don't, <laughs> <laughs> sure don't. <laughs> they don't come out with movies. Oh, so you're saying in their they infrequency. Okay. They don't come, their boobies are more spread out. So yeah, there might be a moment where they die down. You forget about them. But when they come out with a movie, you're like, oh, let's go see it. Because like what? Recently, Aquaman 2 just dropped. Oh, yeah. And I thought like, they were DC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just thought they were Marvel. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> so recently Aquaman 2 just dropped and it's doing really well in the theaters. And then the other past DC movies, Aquaman 1 and... Does Lord. DC do any other movies besides Aquaman? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to defend it so hard, but I honestly <laughs> forgot myself. <laughs> besides Batman in 1997, were there any DC movies since... <laughs> Ooh, girl. Ooh, Ooh she's whipping out the phone. Out the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Google? I, I don't think I know any DC movies. Off the t- Hellboy? Is that DC? I mean, I know some of the DC movies are like <laughs> terrible. Yeah. So, um, oh, Justice League, Batman, Blue oh, Beetle. Oh, Justice League. What about the the crazy one? Like the people are crazy. Uh, Suicide Squad? Margo. Yeah, Suicide Squad. Um, Is that the most recent one? I don't know, but I know, like the Suicide Squad themselves. I actually like them as a team, surprisingly. Yeah, no, I, 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 I'm gathering that the characters in DC are a bit darker. They're they're a bit darker. They're a bit more like well rounded. I feel like like even though they're superheroes, you're not gonna like connect to a superhero because they're a damn superhero. But you can like relate. In mm. some ways, in some aspects, in some forms of like their backstory, of who they were before they got powers, you know, mm. what was it? Well, depending on which movie and how and what order you watch it, Cyborg's backstory is like, oh, he used to play football. He was like an athlete. Bam, accident, car accident, whatever. So people can relate to that. Or like Batman's parents got shot up in an alley. Maybe not that, but oh, like. Oh, yeah, that one is dark. That one, Batman's but that's parents good. Died. That's a, that is a good You know, one, and he right? wants to. Revenge, Vendetta, whatever. The cat hell. woman, she got eaten by cats. <laughs> that one was a little. That was that was a little spicy. Um, she just fell out a window and her cat's licking, and then she, and then she said, "Oh, I'm Catwoman." What? You know what? We're just gonna pass that one. Oh, so that should have been a Marvel. Or that should have been a Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> but like, so some are, of them, are you saying the D in DC stands for depth? <laughs> Darkness. DC stands for Disney Channel. <laughs> It does? No. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, but like recently I watched Blue Beetle and I was like, oh my God, it's Spanish representation. I could see them like myself. Oh, and like, I did not know that. So like, it was like different ethnicities that come together. I'm but, not saying that Marvel is just white people. Miles Morales is not white. Absolutely not. It's white for him. Neither is Miss Marvel. Period. Muslim American. She's, she's Muslim American yeah. and Miles Morales is Boricua, Puerto Rican. <laughs> Do you feel yes. proud of that or something? Yeah. <laughs> you feel proud of that or something? Yeah, like, When's uh, the next uh, Korean American superhero? I've not. It was, I don't think Korean American, but I know there was like one Asian American. It was like, uh, one fits sh- all. <laughs> <laughs> one represents us all. <laughs> at least, at least they, they had an Asian American. At least. At least. Okay. It was Shang-Chi and the Seven Rings. Oh, Shang-Chi. I actually like, really liked it. Except the actor I hear is horribly conceited um, but that's off the record i mean i saw the actor in like a comedic kim's convenience kim's convenience yeah. and like it was an it was a comedic show so i'm yeah. like i saw him in that and i'm like he has such a soft face for this yeah yeah i mean he worked in shang chi but yeah i have a hard time separating the art from the artist yes yeah, so i need I, to, I need I, to. I, I, when i saw him in that i was like can he do this role? Like, can, can I? <laughs> and could he? <laughs> yes, he was whipping behind. <laughs> Let's keep this PG. Whipping behind in that movie. You can say buttocks. Buttocks is um, mm. clinical term. It's we'll clinical. accept that. Let's not be clinical <laughs> in this damn high school. <laughs> um, do you have a favorite DC character? Like your all-time favorite? Starfire. <laughs> Who is Starfire? Starfire from the Teen Titans. Okay, what is the story of the Teen Titans? Because um, I don't think many people know the Teen Titans. Damn, that's kind of that's kind of sad, honestly. Um, okay, the Teen Titans, a team started by Batman to place Robin in 
Or depending on which movie you watch, a team started by ramen. Ramen. <laughs> <laughs> that would be an awesome DC character. I want that one. <laughs> a team started by ramen to like separate himself from his shadow Batman to like be his own character. I like that one better, but like, you know. Yeah, yeah. Or like, because like in the newest movie, I think it's like Teen Titans Children's Contract, it's the newest Robin, which is Damian Wayne. He's sent to the Titans Tower and the Titans is led by Starfire. So, what do you who, like about Starfire? She's very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the pink hair, honestly, with well, the okay. fiery hair, honestly. Okay. What's her power? Um, she's Starbolt. Starbolt. I don't know how to. Nice. I don't know how to like explain her power because yes, she has like super strength, and super stamina. She can fly. Is she like Captain Marvel? Uh, she's like she's like mini uh, Captain Marvel. Not, not like mini Captain Marvel. She's like um. Superman. She's, she's from a different planet. Oh. She's from Tamaran. So what's her kryptonite? Wait, she's from Tamaran? She's from the planet Tamaran. Oh, okay. Her kryptonite, I don't think she has a kryptonite. Uh, iron. Iron? That's iron. so important for your body. I know, for a human's <laughs> body. I, I just remembered it. I just remembered it. Because I remember, like, the old Teen Titans who, like, did a reboot in, like, 2016. I hate it. Oh. But the old Teen Titans, she's like, oh, yeah, I'm allergic to iron. Interesting. Interesting. So, like, I guess that's her weakness. Okay. Okay. Best storyline? Best storyline? Mm-hmm. Movie-wise or character-wise? Um, either. Um, 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 because I watch, like, both the storylines. Yeah. But not, like, for, because DC also has, like, an animated storyline. So, yeah. like, both speaking from um, animated and not animated. Yeah. The animated storyline is definitely, I feel like, for DC, is like, ooh, Damn, slay. They got that. <laughs> but for a movie storyline, it's just yeah. like, mm, Marvel takes that. Okay. You, okay, let's maybe, maybe not end on this, but I want to address this. You said there was a time when Marvel was good. Can you um, go back to that time? What was that time? Um, oh, Lord. It was, I can't, I, it wasn't too long ago because, like, I can't say, like, they, all their movies are bad now. They're just, like, this feels more forced. Mm. They don't feel special anymore they feel too capitalist capitalisticness yeah. they're just trying to make more money much. m stands for money mm. Mm. money capitalist so what was the last marvel story you enjoyed the last marvel story story i enjoyed oof oof i gotta pull out the phone again for this <laughs> <laughs> that's how long it's been folks it's been a really long time see <laughs> oh oh we don't do that um the last one I can say is Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh yeah, that's always one. Well, not the uh, the recent movie was wasn't wasn't too like bad. It was yeah. still pretty good. Yeah. And it had like a Christmas special. It was pretty good. But then they all disintegrated, and that was like what what was that? That was Infinity War. I know. I went to the theaters to see Infinity War with yeah. my mother and my father, and it was just <sighs> my mother cried at the theaters. <laughs> <laughs> That's really sweet. My mother cried at the theaters. She did no. She did. She didn't even care about all the other people that died. She cared about Spider Man, Tom Holland. She's like, yeah. he was just a kid. What was he? So I, he was really he was just a child. Oh, I was like, oh yeah, lord, that hit hard. That hit hard. And I was like, uh, maybe they'll come up with a new movie. And then I said, oh yeah, they're, they're gonna come up with a new movie. But she didn't care at that point, so it didn't matter. I didn't. I feel like at that point. Because that was like the first time you got to see Marvel's like lose a fight. So it was like, wow. That's true. That's true. It was like a breaking point. And apparently it really depressed them because in the end game, that was stuff was like three hours long, as long as like Titanic. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> <laughs> I love like that you know that. I didn't want to watch it because it was so long. Yeah. So my friends forced me to watch it. Didn't it end on a cliffhanger? Endgame? Yeah. Or Infinity War. Infinity War ended on a cliffhanger because uh-huh. he snapped his fingers. Right. He said something. Right. Everybody went missing. Right. Right. And then they lost. And then they had to regroup. Yeah. So with half their like, team gone, right. Right. they had to like revitalize. So isn't it technically six hours long? Because you're supposed to watch the two of them together. Yeah. But I watched them like five years apart. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't want to end on Marvel because you're pro DC. Is there a DC you're looking forward to? Um, DC movie. DC movie, DC character. Do you still read DC? Yeah. Yeah? I asked you to order a book. Oh, that's the, right. The, the Gabriel, uh, Gabriel Piccolo? Gabriel Piccolo? He does 
what was it? He started as like fan art, but then he actually got recruited into the company as to like uh, like write the story for them. So I was like, oh, oh cool. So he's coming out with another Teen Titans book, like he did Teen Titans and then like Robin book and then a uh, Raven book and then a Beast Boy book, and it's coming out with Starfire and then Cyborg soon. So I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I ordered all of those. Yes, but so they won't come until 2024. It is 2024. 20, so 2025 I'm hoping 25 school year. What? The 2024, 2025 school year. That's how school ordering works. All my, all my ordering is done. I know. I know. I won't even get to see the book. And that's only oh. if Mayor Adams doesn't cut the budget anymore. Cause I heard he cut the budget, like, what, $120 million like again? so much, so much. Especially for, like, libraries. And I'm just like, sir. Yeah, we need that money. We sir. We need more Teen Titans. Let's be realistic. Yeah, let's be realistic. So, have you ever watched Watchmen? Watchmen? That's I heard DC. About it, but I haven't watched it. You need to watch that. And Sandman? Sandman? Uh, which one? Also DC. Um, I don't know. I watched like the old one. Oh, like really, really old? There's like a new live action one. I haven't heard also, about it, but I would know, like to, I, I love cute. Sandman. I love, I feel so bad for like his story though. Yeah, it's pretty sad. As most of the DC, every superhero That's story good. I did 20 Well, years. as we said, DC, D stands for. Thank you so much, Mariana, oh, for joining okay. us. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna let the other guys listen to this and they get to respond. Um, coming to you live from Spark Studios. This is DC versus Marvel. What's up? Hey y'all, it's Countess Deaver Millie. You know what the fuck going on. Today, we about to talk about Marvel and DC. And we about to respond to what? What's her name? Amariana. We are about to respond to what Amariana has said. And honestly, there was some stuff she said that was true. But I'm not going to lie. When she said that Marvel was mediocre, I was like, hold on. Because yeah. like, Marvel being mediocre is something. But like... It is lame. Well, because I'm biased towards DC. Because, you know, my girl Zatanna Zatara is there. And and I will say she could be Wanda. I mean, yes, at that. Mm-hmm. in terms of, like, modern-day Marvel, I believe, like, it's a hit or miss nowadays because, like, we had Miss Marvel, which was pretty bad in my perspective. Why people said the Miss Marvel movie was dumb? I haven't watched it yet, so I can't really say. Well... For me, to be honest, the characters were boring. They were lackluster. Who? The characters. Um, Captain Marvel and the other characters. Wait, so did you watch the new movie that featured Miss Marvel and the one girl from um, WandaVision? Yeah. How was it? Don't spoil it because I haven't watched it. I'm playing it. I'm watching it. You right now. <laughs> the um, characters, in my opinion, lack depth, in my opinion. Like, they weren't that good. I think Captain Marvel was only famous because, like, she appeared before... Um, she appeared during Endgame. Are you saying that because they're all females? No, I'm not. I'm not trying to be. <laughs> Killed her. <laughs> I'm not trying to be sexist or anything, but like the only reason why Captain Marvel was even famous in the first place was because of Infinity War. Oh, well, that is true. Wait, she felt she showed up in Infinity War, wasn't it? Endgame. She showed up. She showed up in Endgame. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That part was fire. She did her big one. She punched that nigga Daniel. She did her shade when though it didn't, you know, stop him. But she did her big one. Let's get back to Marvel versus DC. In total honesty, who do you think would win, like, between a brawl? Because there has been a comic, which was Marvel versus DC, right? Mm-hmm. Who like, do you in think terms of powers? Yeah. I think Marvel would. Actually, who? probably DC. Mm, I mean, name some powerhouses in DC, honestly. Like, Dark Side. <laughs> I need to get my phone because I don't know all the, you know, I don't know all the characters from the top of my head. I only know my faves and my fave is. <laughs> I know Darkseid is. Uh, Damn. I know Darkseid was one of them. What Darkseid do? Darkseid, he's like, um, it's, it's a bit hard to explain, to be honest. Like, like Darkseid's true form is like in an entirely new world. Like Ooh. the Darkseid that Superman fought was like a way weaker version of him. 
Word. I did not know that. You see, he he know more than me because I'm not necessarily a superhero fan, but you know I grew up watching superheroes. But the one thing nobody could I ever fuck with me on is my anime. My anime knowledge is there. I'm really like into that. Nobody can test me on that. Period. Yeah. Oh my God. Can we talk about Lex Luthor and Lex Superman's relationship? It's like another it's version of Batman and Joker. Yeah, it's literally just not like Batman. But Joker. Joker is more badass. Lex Luthor. Let's really talk about it. Yeah, Joker is definitely a fan favorite. Like when I was young and still growing up, I didn't like Joker. But when I'm like more mature, wait. Now, why don't you like Joker? Like when I was young, I always I was always a peaceful type. Like I didn't like I didn't like villains who just like stirred up everything and caused trouble. Mm, I mean, like, guess that's fair, but like, I'm not gonna lie. Joker made Batman. Let's really like, let's really talk about it. If it wasn't for Joker kicking joke, if it wasn't for Batman kicking Jokers every time, it was not look. People were not looking up to Batman the way they were because Joker was really that villain. Like, even though he wasn't as strong as you know those villains that uses dimensional powers and stuff he was still crazy as hell and managed to kill a robin i mean yeah he did he did manage to kill robin but like crazy right as the old saying goes one cannot exist without the other so like true, 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 there can't true. be any good in the world without evil in the world but you know what i hate about joker the way he treated my girl harley quinn oh my god bro one thing about me i love my harley if you like any Harley slam, any Harley slander around me, I'm going to get tight because Harley Quinn is just a character you can't talk shit. Mm. Like she's pretty much perfect in every way. She's loyal. Mm, she's, not perfect. She's like a little bit. Weird. I mean, she's a little bit freaky. She's mad weird. Excuse me. Like you remember that one time, or was it? Um, in Suicide Squad. Uh, which moment are you talking about? The first movie. She was doing too much low key. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Doing way too, too, too yeah. much. I think she got that from Joker though. Like <clears throat> her obsession of want of wanting to like Go hurt crazy. other people. Yeah, be crazy. Wild. Just got it from Joker. I was on YouTube as one time, and I have saw that it was a weird. It was a weird thing. No, it wasn't a weird thing. It was um, the top things Joker has done to Harley Quinn. Like the top bad worst things she done for Harley Quinn. And one of them was locking her in a dungeon. And then he has skeletons there. But wait, this is the part. It was only to psychologically mess with her mental. And it was really bad because she was like, he was like, oh, I'm going to rip your face off with this knife I have. Like the other Harleys you see with you. Because it was just a bunch of skeletons. But the gag was... It wasn't actually Harley's. It was it was just random skeletons. That's how you know Joker's that bro. He did his big one with that one. Because I'm not going to lie. If I was Harley, I would have been scared. I would have been scared. I would have been shook. I would have been crying. I would have been telling Joker, let me go. Let me go. Because I can't do nothing like that. I mean, I'm not trying to, like, slander Harley or anything. But it's, like, it's more of her fault for, like, it hanging is. around those type of people. Like... The people around you and the world around you shape who you are as a person. Yeah, you're true, true, true. You know what we need to talk about? 1v1 characters from DC versus Marvel. Uh, say that again? 1v1 characters. Mm. All right. So search up your Marvel characters. You're on Marvel side. I'm on DC side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for the character I want to use, all right, Dr. Manhattan. Oh, okay. I got you. Because Dr. Manhattan, he's a strong man. Yeah, no doubt. Literally had the ability to destroy or repair a universe with ease. Like, come on. But I don't understand why his name is Dr. Manhattan. Like, that was yeah, that is shade. That is kind of weird. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> My Marvel character would be... Let's see. Can't pull something off the... Yeah, hold on. Tell me, bro, DC has so much strong characters. Mm -hmm. It's sad. Like, it's really sad. Like, I'm not even going to lie. The only strong characters I know, and I can say who are strong, is obviously Wanda and Doctor Strange. 
Did you watch Doctor? Uh, you watch Multiverse of Madness, right? Yeah. Oh my God. Did you see f- Doctor Strange with that one eye in the middle of his forehead? Yeah. Yo, that's bad. Like, it was. It looked nasty. Yeah, the CGI is really bad. And that's the thing. I'm not gonna lie. Marvel has way better live action shows, movies than f- DC. Yeah. Can't even cap. Can't even cap. They've been in that game for a while. Like, did you see the ending of um, Loki season two? No, I, I, I'm I'm almost done with season one. I'm oh. almost done with season one. You, you need to finish Loki, bro. It was so good. Bro, I heard like I heard Loki did his. Sh- mm. He died, didn't he? Uh, no, he didn't die. He's just um. He's just gonna be spending. Wait, Damn, no, I can't, I can't took, say anything. He took um he took over the TV the TVA, right? Yeah, um, he's gonna spend eternity in loneliness. He did his big one. Yeah. I think Loki as a character is just like Loki's amazing. character is wild. Loki <clears> is <throat> like the Joker and the Avengers is like the Batman. Word. But let's talk about how Avengers are overrated as hell. Avengers Loki? Yeah, kinda. Mad overrated. Black Wid- Black Widow, the movie, lame Black as Widow, hell. That was so bad. Like it got delayed for like two years straight. And when it came out it was so bad. Like mad. And it's not even that because I don't like Black Widow. It was just like it was, mm-hmm. it was really. Um, Eternals. Etern. I, I love Eternals. I do not. I did not like Eternals. Why not? Like Eternals in, was a dope ass movie. In Eternals, they talked about like how they balance the universe and protect universe. But when like when Thanos threatened to destroy half the universe, where the hell were they? They were doing the eternally. Sh- <laughs> they were too busy sleeping, bro. I'm sorry. But well, like, how, I'll oh, continue. How can you like let someone just roam free around the earth and destroy half the universe? Who would they were letting do that? Thanos. Oh, that? Yeah. But aren't the like timelines mixed up? Um No, that was before the timelines got mixed up. No, no, no. Was Eternals after or before Endgame? Um, before they existed before the Avengers, oh, they that did, yeah. I mean, you know, Eternals be doing some space stuff, they was probably dealing with their own situation, mm, probably. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. like, risk half the universe though for some space stuff. It wasn't no space love, they delayed. Oh, it's time to go. Yep. Well, uh, let me finish up. Yeah. They delayed the awakening of what's it called. Um, the Celestials? Yeah, because they didn't want to film me. They made memories and stuff, and they just realized that they were created. I They're mean, not born, created, and they're robots. That is fair, but, like, they were lucky that Thanos was kind of sane and then destroyed, like, the entirety of the universe, because if they did, then all their hard work would have been for nothing. My thing is, can Eternal, like, how strong is Eternals is for real? Eternals, I think. I think they're stronger than the uh, Avengers. I think so. I think they're stronger than Thor. Thor? Oh, uh, that, now that's a. That might be a under. That's a story for next time. Mm. Thank you again for listening to Spark Studio presents DC versus Marvel. Uh, special thanks to Mariana, Gael, Lucas. And sound and editing credits to Drew. Uh, If you'd like to sign up for a podcast, please visit www.sewardparkcampuslibrary.org and visit the studio tab to make your reservation. See you soon.